So recently I've received a lot of requests from you all about how to sell and buy put spreads and call spreads using the Interactive Brokers trading platform. So the focus of this video is going to be exactly on that. We're going to dive into the ins and outs, the simplistic way and the more confusing way of how to buy and sell call spreads and put spreads using the Interactive Brokers platform. Now, if you're a US-based customer, my recommendation is to go with Tastyworks. There is a link below. Use that link. The channel gets a credit and I really appreciate it, but it is the premier options trading platform for US based customers and Australian customers. Now, if you're anywhere else and you don't have access to Tastyworks and you're using interactive brokers, then this video is going to be for you as we're going to break down exactly how to put on these spread trades. That way you can be more effective and more efficient with your capital when trading options. So with that, let's dive in. All right, why don't we dive into this? So I've got my interactive brokers trading platform. You can see up here, IBKR Pro, and I've got my simulated account, my paper account open just to show this to you. But first off, my first, the, the best way to get started with selling spreads in IBKR is to just get your options chain up and running on your computer, on your platform here. And the best way to do that is to go to new window. And when you click that, you can select options chain you can find it mine is here because i've recently used it yours is probably going to be down um, in this area but select options chain put that in and remember if you want to unlock your platform you got to press this if you see the green border that means you can adjust things and move your tiles around and then you'll go ahead and lock it back up so this video is assuming that you know what a call spread is and that you know what a put spread is if you don't check out this video that will talk a little bit about spreads for small accounts that'll help give you a better idea of what exactly they are and how they work but what i want to do is dive into this platform and basically just show you how they represent these call spreads and, and put spreads and how you can easily navigate and put these on so the first thing i want to call your attention to we're going to save the simplistic method for just a little bit and i'm going to show you kind of the weird method that most people attempt to use that doesn't seem to work very well for very many people. And that is coming over to this, uh, let's actually put in, I'm gonna put in the SPY right here. And the reason I'm gonna do that is just because it's really, really liquid. And I think it'll make a good representation to show you how to pick your price for the spread. So this is loading up SPY. And a lot of people will click this panel here and you'll see calls and puts. So if you want to trade naked calls or naked puts, this is where you'd wanna be. And if you wanna come in and start to sell spreads, they give you these three options. And this is a very confusing representation in just in my opinion, because what we want to pick is a vertical spread, but they give you horizontal spread and they give you diagonal spread. And a lot of people are like, what is this? So really quick in like five seconds, a horizontal spread is basically a calendar spread. If you don't know what a calendar spread is, just do a quick Google search. It'll explain it perfectly to you. Um, and then they give you a diagonal spread and that's basically a calendar spread, but using different strikes. It's sort of a whole different rabbit hole you can go down with calendar spreads, um, what they're calling horizontal spreads and diagonal spreads. You wanna go with the vertical. So if you click the vertical spread, and you want to put this on in SPY, you then come over and they give you a little explaining window of how to uh, shop around for the right prices. But it's basically going to give you a list of all these tiles. And you're supposed to scroll through these and find exactly what you want to do. And if let's say you want to sell a put, a put spread. So we'll click puts right here and then it changes it to put spreads. Now, by default, these tiles are set up for buying put spreads or a debit spread, not selling put spreads. So it loads these up and then you can basically pick any strike you want. So let's go 30 days out. Let's go August 2nd, 2021. We've got our puts selected and we get all these tiles that are gonna come up. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna search through these tiles and find a spread that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna click this 280, 270 panel. These aren't loading up for some reason. It might be because the markets are closed because it's Saturday, but let's say you pick the 280, 270, okay? And you decide, and actually we're getting a little more, let's, okay, we're getting a few that are loading up. It's being a little strange, but let's go ahead and pick, let's pick this one, 385, 375. And so what it's gonna show you is it automatically flops it down into the strategy builder. 
So it builds this strategy out as a debit spread. And you can see that by looking at the 385 strike. So if this is a put, the 385 is the one that you want to sell and they have it as buying. And then the 375 is the one that you want to buy when you're selling a put spread, but they have it as you're selling it. So you could come in here and then just switch these, but that's kind of a pain. And these tiles just seem very confusing to me that you got to scroll through a bunch, pick predetermined spread widths. So it just seems a little clunky. Like this one's $6 wide. This one is $10 wide. It just seems very not intuitive. So this is the way I would not do it. I wouldn't use these tiles as they just seem really confusing. What I would do, this is the exact way that I would put on a spread in Interactive Brokers, is you wanna come back up to this panel here and you wanna just go back to calls and puts and this will give you your options chain. So you can see the puts on this side and you can see the calls on this side. And what I do from here is you just wanna click the strategy builder down in the bottom left-hand corner. That will open up this little tile here. Now, from here, what you wanna do is basically build your own spread. So if you come through here and you decide, I wanna sell the 430 by 425. Let's do a $5 wide spread. So we'd be risking $500. So the 430, you're gonna come over here to the bid price and you're just gonna click that. And because it's the bid, it knows that you're selling. If you wanted to buy, you would be clicking the ask or the offer. But you see when I click that, it dropped it right down into the strategy builder for me. And it did it correctly, it's selling. So then I come up to the 425, over to the ask, and I'm gonna click that. That immediately drops that down, and now we have our spread built. So that just seems like a very simple way rather than searching for the spread width that you want, you just come in here and build it and you're all set. So the next thing you need to do is you need to come in and you need to select your price. Where do you want to execute? How much premium do you want to receive on this trade? Well, to gauge it and find out well, what's realistic, where's the mid price? Now in Tastyworks, there is a mid price and it tells you exactly where you should probably start trying to put this out to collect premium. But in here, it doesn't really tell you. It doesn't really say like, this is the mid price that I'm aware of. Now, if you look under the bid ask, we know that this is, you know, you could receive anywhere between 45 cents and 43 cents. As long as you stay within that window, you should probably get filled. If this were a larger priced option with um, more volatility, and you might have a lot more premium, you might see like $4 by $5. So you would know that somewhere in between there is probably where you would get filled. So what I would do here is say, okay, 45 cents, 43 cents. Okay, let's come down here, click this price. And I would say, let's go ahead and start somewhere around, let's go 44 cents. That's probably where I would start. So you can confirm that your size is appropriate down here. You can change your quantity. By default, it's one, I found out in um, Interactive Brokers, which is great because Thinkorswim is 10 and I've, uh, I've accidentally sold a 10 lot before and that's not a lot of fun. So it's good that the default quantity is one. The limit, 44 cents, because it's between the 45 and the 43 executed in the day. So then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and click submit order. And it's going to basically bring up your position, tell you everything about it, and going to tell you your commissions, everything going on. And then you can override this and transmit, but it's basically going to show you what your break even is and how that would work. If you want to see the profile of the trade before you put the trade on or submit it, you can click this profile button. What brought it up on my other screen and it won't drag over, but what it's going to do is it's going to show you, I'll read it to you real quick. It's going to show you basically what your profit probability is, your probability of, of winning on the trade. It's going to show you your max return and it's going to show you your max loss. It's going to show you how much you've risked. This is a $5 wide spread, so we would take $5 and then subtract the credit. We would subtract 44 cents from $5 and that would be your overall risk. Um, tells you where your break even is, it gets into return and risk, but it just confirms everything for you. And then if I go ahead and I close that down, we can then come back to submit order and it'll put it up here for you to go ahead and, and submit. But that's really all there is to this. And I just think that if you build your own, it's much easier than doing it any other way. So I'm gonna turn off Strategy Builder. Let's go to a different product. Let's go to Tesla. Let's look at Tesla 
And now let's go ahead, let's do the opposite. Let's sell the call spread. So what we'll do is let's pick 27 days and we have calls and puts selected. So what I'm gonna do is come out here and let's maybe sell, let's do the 700. So I'm gonna click the bid on the 700, but I'm gonna turn on my strategy builder. So we'll come to 700, click on the bid. Oh, and let's actually clear this. Let's clear all the legs out first. So let's go 700 bid. And then let's go, let's go 720 ask. We'll do a 700 by 720 selling a call spread. So I'll click that. And now what it's gonna tell me is, we're gonna to look to collect anywhere between 840 and 625. So I wanna go somewhere between there for my profit, for what I wanna take in. So then I would come down here to my price and I would probably start somewhere, I'd probably go maybe 750 and just kinda of see, I would maybe submit it and see if I could get, get hit there and collect $7.50, which would be $750 for the spread. But then you can click your profile button if you want to see and that brings it up on my other screen again but that would go ahead and give you the profile of the trade break down your your max loss and what you've already collected in premium and just break it all down so it's that simple and another thing we can do because we talked about buying spreads so let's stick with tesla here and let's do buying a put spread because before we sold the put spread, we just sold the call spread. Now we're gonna buy the put spread. So let's come in, let's turn on our strategy builder here. We deleted all the legs. And now let's go ahead and let's buy the 630. Let's do the 630 by 620. So if I wanna buy a leg, I gotta click on the ask. And then I wanna come up to 620, which is up here. And I wanna click the bid because I wanna sell this one. And you can see right here now, I'm gonna have to pay between 140 and 340 in premium because I'm buying the option leg that's closer to the money and I'm selling one further out. So this is gonna be called a debit spread. So when I come in here, I'm gonna select something between 140 and 340. I'd probably start at 250 just to see what happens. I really like in Tasty Trade that it gives you the mid price and I just don't see that here. I don't know you could just calculate the mid price but it's nice having it right on your screen so you can see my limit is one 250 debit day execution and for those of you who get into bracket orders you can always click this and you can put in um, a bracket order for options trades as well you can do bracket orders for stock or options so that would be buying that put spread okay so let's clear our legs and let's do one more. Let's buy the call spread. So this would be a call debit spread. So let's come back to at the money. Now at the money is just where these blue purple tiles meet the green black tiles on both sides. So at the money would be considered right around 675. So let's come over here to the call side. We'll stay at 27 days and let's go ahead and let's buy a call spread. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's buy the 700. So I'm gonna turn on the strategy builder and I'm gonna to come to the 700 and I'm going to click the ask. So that's gonna throw that right into our trade plan, panel, panel where we're building this. And then let's go to the 720 and I wanna go ahead and sell this one. So I'm gonna click the bid. So now I've created a call debit spread where I'm gonna to have to pay between 625 and 840. So I would come down here to the price and for this one, if you wanted to start in the middle somewhere, I might start, maybe I'd throw something out there at 775 and just see if it would get filled. You can always edit your order and change the price on it, but I go ahead and start there and see what happens. So we just reviewed how to sell a put spread, sell a call spread, buy a put spread, and buy a call spread. These are all risk defined positions and that's basically all there is to it. It's just a little confusing and a little clunky on IBKR because it just doesn't feel as nice as Tastyworks and they are naming things a little differently. Um, I think this drop down right here is extremely confusing. Um, I just, I, it, I could see a lot of mistakes happening here because you're giving all these different names for spreads. Um, I think if you're gonna say horizontal spread, I think you should just call it a calendar spread. That seems to be the official name, but stick with calls and puts, just open your strategy builder 
and build it from scratch using your options chain that you found by going to new window and adding the options chain in. I hope this was helpful. Please drop me any questions below. Any questions in the comments, I am absolutely going to respond to. And if we need to make a follow-up video to dive deeper into any of the topics within this video, we can absolutely do that. And I wanna stop for a quick second just to say that if you are interested, click this button, the join button on the banner of the YouTube channel. Come over and grab a channel membership. It's 25 bucks a month. It's a small group private Slack channel where I trade every single morning. So if you want more access to me, whether you wanna ask questions or you wanna run trade ideas by me and you want an immediate response and you wanna banter back and forth about it, join the private Slack group where you'll get access to me I mean, basically most of the day, every day, because it's where I trade every day. So we have a small group in there and it's been very beneficial because we're actually learning from each other and developing new strategies and approaches for our style of trading. But I'd welcome you to come over and try it out. If you try it out for a month and you don't like it, your subscription won't renew and you can just cancel. It's just 25 bucks a month. It supports the channel. It helps me keep putting equipment and increasing quality like this wonderful microphone I have. I'm able to buy more equipment and make the channel even better so your experience is better. So anyway, come join the channel. If you got any value out of this, hit the like button. And if you're new, click subscribe, stick around. We'd love to have you as a member of our community. So with that, I will see you in the next video.